Hi, I'm Miss Darcy and I'm a children's librarian. Today I'm going to read you a story called Sullivan, Who is Always Too Loud by Michael Ostow, illustrated by Brian Biggs. This is Sullivan, who is always too loud. Not just sometimes, not just often. Hello! Always. At home, Mama says, Sullivan, Ella Baby is sleeping. Sullivan, Mr. Jenkins downstairs will complain. Sullivan, I can't hear myself think. You're not supposed to hear thinking, Sullivan shouts. He shouts it loudly. And Ella Baby wakes and the dog barks and Mr. Jenkins downstairs raps on their floor, his ceiling with his cane. Mr. Jenkins likes quiet at night. Rapping with his cane means keep it down, Sullivan. Sullivan tries his best. Mama says, it's a start. At school, Mrs. Chow says, Sullivan, it's reading time now. Sullivan, it's Leah's turn for share chair. Sullivan, Ms. Gonzalez cannot teach percussion with your cymbals crashing away. <laughs> Sullivan smashes his cymbals loudly once more because percussion means a booming sound. So Ms. Cho should be proud. She sends Sullivan to the peace place for thinking. Sullivan tries to explain to Mama I have loudness in my body, bubbling up, always, and it always has to come out. He makes a giant Tarzan jungle yell. <coughs> Mama says, it does not have to come out at the grocery store. All through dinner, all through bath time, all through bedtime story, Sullivan squishes his loudness down, down, down. But the next morning, it bubbles back up. Outside, Mr. Jenkins sits on the stoop in his green every Wednesday suit. Green like a ferocious dinosaur. Sullivan is a dinosaur too. His loudness bubbles up into a ferocious dino. <laughs> Oops, Mr. Jenkins frowns. Frowning means, oh, Sullivan. Mama asks, have you tried counting one, two, three? One, two, three. Mama sighs. She says, it's a start. At school, Sullivan tries again. During center time, when there are no red blocks, during share chair when it's Bowden's turn, during movement, which is for silly jumping. It's not easy, but counting squishes the loudness down. One, two, three. At recess, Bowden gives Sullivan a turn with his yellow super high bounce ball. Sullivan wants to sing a bouncing song at the tip top of his lungs but the loudness is squished so deep down inside that the song won't come. What if the loudness is squished inside forever? But then, when it's time to go inside, everyone lines up. Everyone except Annalise. She's far away in the tall grass monster corner of the playground. She doesn't hear Miss Chow. Sullivan feels a bubble, bubble, bubble rumble up. Oh no, now is eyes on teacher time, but Sullivan must. Now the tree stump is a Jungle King platform. One, two, three, his loudness. It's there! Annalise! He gives an enormous 
extra wild Tarzan jungle yell. Annalise hears. She comes running and Miss Chow, she smiles. Thank you, Sullivan, for choosing the right time for loudness. Sullivan is proud, proud, proud. The feeling bubbles up. Sullivan tries to count. One, two. Thank you! But Miss Chow just laughs. She says, it's a start. Oops. And Sullivan laughs too. The end.